Welcome back! So things have changed. So let's play Dragon Quest Builders. So I did the thing, I upgraded the base to level 4 and then some. I kind of wanted to record the actual level to level 4, as well as maybe time-lapse the... the build. I've done similar things in the past. But it kind of jumped on me. Uh, very first room I redid got us to level 4. That was surprising. And redoing the rest of the base got us almost to level 5. Like, almost to max. Just about there. Um, also, I didn't mention this last time, but before previous video, I also went back to a lot of other video or a lot of other locations, like the barbecue bistro here, and actually made it the barbecue bistro, which involved the two chairs, tables, food, all of that. So now we get the additional bonus of. What happens when I first come in? Uh, prevents hunger from draining while I'm in the base. Uh, same thing here, redid this room to have the actual little sign and the sack on the wall. Like, I made all the rooms in sign. There, expanded these a little bit. Uh, I made all the rooms the actual good room. Like, all the rooms are pretty much as good as they're going to get. I don't really know... If there is another room beyond the ones that we have, I don't know about it. And guides online don't mention it. For the most part. Also been keeping up on trees, been keeping up on getting food, so we're pretty well stocked on food. I mean, sort of. I still haven't actually made any food myself, but man, let me tell you how much wheat we have. How much wheat do we have? Where's my wheat? Where's my wheat? Is it on this page? There it is. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of wheat. We'll be fine. So the only thing I haven't done is the ground is still dirt. Which admittedly kind of makes it look like a hovel, but it looks like a much better hovel than it did before. We still have the nice wood walls. I put it up to three. I even put this little overhang here. Which, the overhang is really useful because there are some enemies that use those lobbing shots. So, put that in. We're also going to need more of an overhang, I think, here and in the back. I think along the sides, too. Eventually, but not top priority at the moment. Also, put a door out the back. I don't know. Nice to have two doors. You don't really need the door in the back. But, I don't know. What happens if you fall off the wall about here? you got to walk a whole way around the house. Town. Building. You know. You know where we are. So the only thing left to do, really, is to make the ground look nicer. Put some grass in the middle like I wanted to do. I wanted to put a nice little trim around the edge with, say, flagstone blocks or something like that. But we don't have an easy way to get or make flagstone or anything. Like, there's no cladding for any of the blocks. There's no brick cladding. Because we don't have a forge. If we had a forge, we could make all kinds of claddings. So I had to tear down and remake all these walls manually. Brick, actually pretty crappy, would have been not only easier, but stronger to just make the wood walls for everything. Because the wood walls are like almost impregnable in this chapter. But, of course, um, I wanted the aesthetic difference. So it would have been nice to get that little flooring difference, but I don't really have another good block to put in as the trim around the edge. So we just kind of extended the floor out a little bit. What else we got? Right, grass. So the only grass that I have access to at the moment is... Lime grass, witch grass, and lemon grass. So lime grass is dark green grass. That's this stuff here. Witch grass, I'm pretty sure, is this purple stuff out here. You know what, we can actually test that real quick. Yeah, totally is. Here's witch grass. So, yeah, witch grass is the purple stuff out there. This stuff over here is lemon grass. 
I don't have access to lemongrass right now. Um, or not easy access to it anyway. The enemies that drop it are the walking corpses, which we saw a couple of here, and we had to fight a couple off of when they assaulted the town for. So, again, not a consistent source. So we're going to have to wait a little while, because we're probably going to be seeing more of them in the future. So that's it, really. I'm going to be waiting for that and put the grass down. Uh, we don't yet have max level in town. Oh, i got to go back and put doors in. You know, fancy doors. Fancy doors will probably get us max level. As well as destroying all of the town buildings at the same time and rebuilding all of them. Probably get us max level. How many doors do we need? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten doors? Ten doors will probably do it. If ten doors doesn't do it, then destroying all the doors and putting them all back at the same time will. I have more than enough to make ten doors. There we go, ten doors. I really wish I had some way to make fancy things. I want, like, the nice torches. I don't want the wall torches, I want those torches. I want these fancy ones. Dang it. Some monsters up here. Well, good luck accomplishing anything. Time to destroy the town! Okay, so you can see that right there almost brought us down to base level 4. That one for sure did. Which means every building over here, when we remake it, is going to be that many more points that we get towards our running total. They're all lost. None of them know what to do. that ice cream truck time of year. Dang! So close. Well, these guys are over here being jerks. Poison in, my friends. Okay, well, we have the fancy doors. We got more points. We still don't have quite enough. Easiest thing to do at this point. If you want to hit max level. Is just add decorations to the rooms. Just put crap in rooms. Put, like, friggin' comfy stools or whatever. You can see how many uh, points they add. And we are, we need, let's see here, 10 up to 900, 190? 100, no, 110? No, 10 will get us up to 900. 110 will get us up to 1600. Wow, we need a lot of points. We need like a thousand points, 1,110 points. So that's gonna be a lot of comfy stools. I mean, there are easy ways to handle this, though. There are things we can do. Like, you know, make a naughty nightlight. Filter Fountain is 300. Can I even make that? Dude, I can make that. Okay, so there's two things we can do. Hey, I'm gonna make a naughty nightlight. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. 
wants to have naughty thoughts. Really? Really? Oh, it's gotta be on the wall. I'm a stupid. Boop. So if we want 500 points, we can get that. That gets us pretty close. Other thing that'll get us there? This, 500 points. Silver, we have silver. Does just putting this in town do, do it? Because that would be hilarious. Nah, it's gotta be in a room. Okay, so I didn't actually tell you guys what this thing did. But I'm gonna go take a nap. How many dudes and ladies do we have? Can I, like, segregate these? Dude, dude, dude. Lady, lady, lady. Oh, or even. Well, maybe the dudes want to listen to some tunes. So I've never actually talked about what that thing does. And it's something I unlocked later on in the game. Okay, so that covers our thousand. This will cover our... Who wants to sit down? Who wants to sit down? What do we want to sit down? You know what, Ellie? You work really hard. I think you deserve to be able to just sit down and rest. And there's max level! So I think the Naughty Nightlight is a light source, so I think I can get rid of this. So I never talked about this thing. Um, thing that you were able to make... I, I forget where exactly you unlocked the ability to make it. It may have even been in this chapter. I don't remember. Maybe it's the next chapter or two. Who knows? But all it is is you put it down, take, or it gives you 500 score, and when you use it... It changes the music to the MIDI version. Not even the MIDI, like the 8-bit version of that song. It plays the friggin' NES version of whatever theme is playing, because all the music that's playing is from various Dragon Quest. I don't know if all of it's from Dragon Quest, but, like, a lot of it is. And there you go, it just plays that. You can turn it off if you want to. I don't know why you would. But you can. There we go, max level base, so we're good. We're pretty well, pretty well set up. You know what I was also gonna do? As long as I can, as long as I can think about it. Ah, uh, no, I need magic die. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop in here. I'm gonna do this real quick, just so I... Just so we got it situated. Look, I'm sure the ladies don't want to sleep with the dudes. I mean, maybe they do. That's their prerogative. But I'm not gonna force that upon them. There we go. That would have done it, too. Instead of making the stool. That's another 200. You know what, whatever, we're fine. So, I guess the ladies get to have naughty thoughts and the dudes get to listen to NES music. Sure. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be doing today. Now that I spent the entire video on that. I didn't do, I didn't wait for the grass because the grass wasn't actually going to improve the score of the town at all. Other things you could have done, putting the Colossal Coffer in a room. I don't really have room for a room, so I didn't. 
like I'm kind of out of room for rooms. But that's another thing you could have done. There's a couple other silly little rooms you could have made that also would have done it. Just make another bedroom? Like, whatever. Wait. So you're done? No, I mean, like, cheating death is one thing, but we should still help sick people. You gotta tell me how to do the thing! Yeah, dang it. Well, the only quest that I have left right now is to make that ballista, so let's do that, and then maybe he'll change his mind? Uh, let me guess, I have to make this... I gotta make this at the sewing station for some reason. I mean, I guess you gotta thread the bow. Never mind. I must have overlooked it. Ah, yep, right there. I need more cord. Cord I make at the other place. No, I make cord. Wasn't about to run across town when I remembered you can... I've been able to make cord long since before I had that. Made a ballista! Yeah! Bam! I mean, I can't break through my wall, but not a lot can. Not in this chapter. I'm with you! Lady, I like you. I'm with you. Look, the problem right now is the Hades Condor. It's showing up. It's making people sick. Let's kill the Hades Condor. Let's stop it from doing all the things that it's doing. And then let's answer other questions once they arise after that. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's probably gonna get really tired of us fending everybody's crap off. That's also important. Um, I only made one of these. We're going to be needing... I'm gonna say 12. They're not super expensive to make. In fact, I can just make another one. Yeah, pretty easy to make. I'm gonna need a lot more wood. Oh, and we have a fight coming. Well, we got a fancy new town. We did a lot of building for things. Um, I'm actually gonna say no real quick. I wanna talk to you. I mean, fair. I just kind of wanted to get some of the town folks' thoughts. Yeah, like, one of those guys was Jacob's friend. We talked to him about that.
No, don't you go siding with him. No. Okay, I think that's most everybody. Except Geronius, because he's a nerd. I don't know if you say anything, since we had the quest. Seems like she's doubled down on the save everybody's lives. Which, you know what? I can open a door. Oh wait, no, I, we haven't read this. I shouldn't be speeding through this. All right, fancy town, fancy guys, let's go. Yeah, you yell. What do we got coming? Oh. Um. Hi. You guys don't look healthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're not healthy. They're not healthy at all. So I'm not gonna fight them. I'm gonna wake them up, and then I'm gonna run in here. And we can just wait! Look, man, fighting is rough. We're still wearing our Wayfarer's clothes. We can't just go fighting. Just go fight everything. No, come back. There we go. Alright, phase two, what do you got for me? More? Five monsters, but I only see two. Nope, there's some more. Let's go wake you up. Okay, so there's four, and then there's gonna be a boss. There's the leader. I'm just gonna hide here. Which is why I built the roof. So all of you can burn. You can keep shooting the roof, doing not a lot of good, and eventually you'll burn too. Eventually, in the end, you all burn. He's not burning much though. Probably once this guy dies, I may just go out and fight him. Oh jeez, rude! Ow. Okay, someone else is tanking. You have more health than me. Or more defense, one of the two. I'm not picky. Oh no, I'm tanking again. I did too much damage. Pulled hate from the tank. Back off the DPS just a little. Yeah, we did it. So look, Gerardi, is in the end of the day, you're still out here protecting your own life. It's the same deal. Hi. Oh, it's the bird. What the crap? Ellie! Huh. 
Like heck I am. I got an infirmary. Yeah, no. I got an infirmary, god dang it. And I'm gonna make you better with it. Hey, think about this, Gerontius. Been talking about her like she's your daughter. Just gonna let her die? I'm, I will stab you. Now that's what I'm talking about. When push comes to shove, man. When push comes to shove, you fight for your life. If your life isn't important enough to you, then you'll protect someone whose is. Until next time, everyone, we have a green teleportal. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna save Ellie.